here we are still on the uh, beach in St. Kitts. I think the boat left without us, but that's okay. I'm just playing, Tiffany. Um, Tiffany's got a question. If I wanted to set up a mini site with a one month webinar and four articles or an article each day, how could I go about pricing that? All right. Well, one thing I would say is you don't want to do an article every day. You probably want to do it once a week. Not saying you couldn't do that, but what happens is if you start hitting people with daily content, they get freaked out. They'll they'll st and then they'll quit not because you're not providing enough, but because you're providing too much and they feel overwhelmed and they want to come back. Pricing is kind of a, a funny issue as far as how much should I charge? And you're talking about you're talking about a membership site, right? Webinar a month plus an article a week. What you got to do is kind of look at the market itself and keep in mind two things. Am I promising hard results or soft results? Hard results are things like we do in the Net Reporter, where we teach you specifically how to do something from start to finish. If that's what you're doing, you can always charge more than you can for more like people say woo-woo stuff is what we've been saying on the gym boat. And that's not a negative, but it's just, it's hard to measure the result. Psychological relationship type stuff, oftentimes you can't promise specific results though that's not the case if you can promise something like hey if you're if you're getting divorced and you're interested in saving your marriage I guarantee that this will help you in seven days or you owe us nothing now that's a real powerful idea with a with a, a soft topic but the bottom line is you got a couple choices you can just throw a price on it and see if it works or you can go see what other people who are doing similar stuff are charging and then kind of gauge where you fit in that or you can do a combination of the two you, you got to just kind of you also got to just listen to yourself if you're in your target market you got to look at okay about what is the normal average person going to be willing to pay and then keep it around there but once you've got a price that, and an offer that converts then you need to test price because ultimately who's the judge of whether we got the right price or not me no. no, well, if you're the customer, yeah, customer. the customer. The customer is the judge. That's the bottom line. So they may be willing to pay more than you even realize, or they may not. So the only thing you can do is just test your price. But the number one thing you got to do is get something out there up and an offer so that they, you have something to test. And that's where most people fall down is they just don't do it. So I would tell you and I would tell you, best thing you can do is get something done and see what happens because most people don't do anything and that's why they don't get any results.